Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Taurus, uh, this is the Beware spread. We have the Emperor, we have the Empress, we have the Six of Wands, we also have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, and uh, we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, this is an amazing spread, Taurus. It's one of the most positive spreads for me so far. <laughs> this uh, is uh, your divine counterpart, because we have both the Emperor and the Empress in the same spread, and I really love the fact that they came out one after another. Um, the Emperor could be an Aries you're dealing with, but most likely, like I said, both the Emperor and the Empress are basically divine counterparts. You're no longer on the King and the Queen level, you are on the Emperor and the Empress level. And uh, the Six of Wands, this is a card of a victory, this is a card of a proposal. Right, so what I think you should be aware of is that um, when this person comes into your life, uh, treat this person as uh, somebody whom you will be spending the rest of your life with, potentially. Or this person is going to be so significant in your life, this person will stay in your life for a very, very long time. And like I said, this is uh, your future husband or your future wife. Um, but it will start off small <laughs> with the page of cups on the bottom of the deck so that's what you should be aware of as well even if this connection starts off uh, very smallish then uh, this person is still somebody who is going to be in your life for a very long time so the page of cups on the bottom of the deck this is them just being nice to you uh, them giving you flowers them them writing you poems, you know, them giving you compliments, taking you out for drinks. And uh, then we have the Emperor, the Empress and the Six of Wands. And I was kind of reluctant to pull the outcome, because I didn't want to jinx it, <laughs> to be honest with you. But the outcome is still amazing. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the, uh, eight, the Ace of Wands, and we have the Ace of Swords. And uh, two Aces right there. It's all, it screams a new beginning, a new passionate beginning, a new beginning that will cut uh, your life into two different uh, pieces, I guess, in a very positive way. So there will be the past and there will be the future once the two of you get acquainted. The Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. Uh, some people call it the Cupid's Arrows card, so the Cupid is definitely hard at work here, striking you and uh, this person you're dealing with. Um, yeah, this... I can't stress it enough how important, how significant this person is going to be in your life, uh, Taurus. So do not, miss do not miss this opportunity and do treat this person as uh, somebody whom uh, you will be marrying or somebody who is going to be changing your life forever. But I do see a relationship here between the two of you. I'm really happy for you, Taurus. Congratulations. Let's take a look at the advice spread anyway. Here's the advice for you, Taurus. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have uh, the Page of Cups, we have the Hermit, we have the Three of uh, Wands, and we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo. So the Page of Cups is back, this is a repeat card, so it starts off small, right? <laughs> but then uh, we have the Hermit, it could be a Virgo you're dealing with, or since this is an advice spread, this is uh, an advice for you to do some soul searching, go within, and when you do come out on the other side, um, make up your mind, maybe just make a decision, or realize that this person is uh, the one for you. The last card that came out is the Three of Wands. This is a card of somebody who is done thinking, somebody who is done doing the soul searching. And uh, the Three of Wands is all about action. It's all about uh, coming up with some kind of an action plan and putting that plan into action. <laughs> and we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. The Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. This is soulmate love, unconditional love. To me personally, when I see the Two of Cups, it's when two people are on the same page 
and uh, the feelings are mutual. So this person is definitely your soulmate, right? And, and uh, with the three of wands, this is an advice for you to treat this person as such. Just um, realize it. It's all about realization. This this advice spread is all about realization that this person is at least your soulmate and uh, that this person is going to be in your life for a very long time and uh, they are very significant. Alright, let's take a look at the third spread anyway. <laughs> the third spread is all about the next good thing that will happen to you. Taurus here is spread number three. This is the next good thing that will happen to you in February that will at least put a smile on your face spread. We have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Hermit, we have the Chariot, and we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Cancer. So I think this spread still talks about the same thing we saw in the first two spreads. And uh, by the way, this is a different deck, so I think this message is uh, very significant, as I was trying to um, underline. <laughs> So um, we've got the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is most likely you, Taurus. Uh, this is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who could be admired by many, and uh, perhaps you are at this uh, state of your life where you don't really need anybody, right? But here comes this Ace of Pentacles and the uh, the Hermit and the Chariot towards you. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, so it's that person coming into your life. This person could be either a Virgo or a Cancer or pretty much any other sign. The next card is the Hermit. The Hermit, like I said, could be a Virgo or this is somebody um, who is coming towards you. Or this is an advice for you to go within and realize that this person is the one and even though you're Perhaps you're fine by yourself right now. You don't really want to um, get into a relationship with anybody. But I was, as I was saying during the first two spreads, it could be a missed opportunity. This person is the one for you. So you, uh, you need to change your mind a little bit. You need to change your perspective a little. And realize that this person is the one for you. And don't miss on this opportunity. The next card I came out is the Chariot. It could be a Cancer. Or this is all about uh, this relationship, this connection, uh, taking off, getting off the ground and moving forward as quickly as it possibly can. It will take off like a rocket. The chariot is one of the victory cards. So you will feel victorious, you will feel great. Um, the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is one of the marriage cards, right? So like I said, uh, you could be <laughs> getting married to this person. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles is a very grounded and a very stable type of a marriage. This is where people buy real estate together, they grow old together, and then uh, have children together. It's very stable, right? So, yeah, the next good thing that will happen to you that will put a smile on your face is this person coming into your life, Taurus. Alright, so that's what I got for you. Don't forget to watch my other videos on my channel. And other than that, have an amazing February. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.